Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a contour and highlight video and this video is going to be special because it is basically going to be made for different face shapes. I know there's a lot of YouTubers that do um, contouring on their own face but don't really focus on everybody else. I do teach classes on um, like beauty classes and things like that and the reason why I like to teach beauty classes outside of like YouTube is because I'm able to focus on your specific um, face shape and I think that's super important because if you if I contour my face the same way somebody else contours their face and I have a round face they have an oval face it's not gonna really work out for me so I wanted to make sure that this video I kind of went a little bit more in depth on different face shapes and things like that so with that being said let's go ahead and start the video courtesy of Google I went online and I wanted to find a good face chart that showed different types of face shapes we have round we have oval Do you guys hear his little footsteps how cute <laughs> everything echoes in this room so you can like hear everything times 10 um, but anyways we have oval we have round we have square we have heart so there's a whole bunch of different face shapes out there and you're definitely able to be more than one face shape. Like for instance, for my face shape, I am more of a round and square face shape. So when I mean round, I'm basically almost the same width and the same length all the way around. Just like a regular round shape, it is gonna be the same thing all the way around. Um, the reason why I say square is because my when looking at my temple and my jawline, they line up pretty much evenly when looking at um, my face. One thing that I'm gonna say is, I don't know if you guys have tried this at home, but pull your face back, pull your face back, pull your hair back because that's where you're really gonna see your true face shape. So what I suggest doing for this video, pull your hair all the way back and that will definitely show you what kind of face shape you have. Now as you guys can see, now that my hair is back, you can see my hairline. I'm a lot more square on top because I do have a little bit of a receding hairline right here. Uh, so that's definitely somewhere that I'm going to be contouring. So I wanted to go over some other face shapes, not just mine. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to pull up this chart that I found courtesy of Google. And I want you guys just to see the different face shapes. So in oval, you guys can see that the, the face is a lot longer. And it also says the face gradually tapers towards the chin, a wider forehead, prominent cheekbones, an ideal face shape. So the next one is gonna be long, and this two, these two I feel like kind of go hand in hand. Face gradually tapers towards the chin, elongates feature from forehead to chin, and some have more of a prominent chin. The next one I'm gonna go over is round, and this is kind of one that I went over because it is my face shape as well. But it face width and the length is almost the same. The widest is gonna be at the cheeks. So you guys can definitely see I have a lot more cheek now than I did before. Feel like a little chipmunk, but hey, now we have contouring for that, so no one will ever know. The next one that we see here is a square face shape. So you guys can read here, it says the forehead, cheekbones, and jawline almost at the same width. So we kind of already went over that as well when I'm talking about my face shape. It says square and bony jawline is prominent feature. So I do have somewhat more of a dominant, uh, dominant jawline as well. Now the heart shape, face strongly tapers towards chin. So you're definitely gonna see a lot more definition here in the chin and the chin goes down a lot further than any other point in the face. The chin tends to be a little bit more pointed and the forehead may be more of a prominent feature. So a bigger forehead, bigger chin. That is like a true heart shape. I would say the most common face shapes that we see today are the heart, the oval, the round, and the square. Those are probably the four most common face shapes that you're gonna see and that we're probably gonna be working with today. I already pretty much started my um, foundation. Today I used my Laura Mercier Candlelight Soft Luminous Glow. It is one of my favorite foundations right now. And I also applied it with this foundation brush. It's just a flat foundation brush. You don't necessarily have to use a cream contour, but I definitely suggest using it if you're somebody who wants to have your contour stand out a little bit more. I would say if you are somebody who is more oily, you might want to stick with a powder. If you're someone who is more um, dry, then using a cream, sorry, using a cream contour is going to be a lot better for you because it is going to give a little boost of hydration to your skin as opposed to using a powder, which might dry you out even more. The products that I'm going to be using to highlight or to conceal is going to be my Age Rewind, and this is one that I talked about in my main favorites. It's the Avery Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. 
This one is going to be basically just under where the dark circles may be. And then I'm gonna use the highlight color that's in the palette to do my highlighting on my face. Just so you guys know how this video is going to work when I say I'm um, contouring for different face shapes. As I'm contouring my own face, I'm going to be telling you guys how to basically contour your face shape um, as I'm going through mine. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and start with highlighting. I always want to highlight the face first. Um, so what I'm going to do is take my H Rewind and I'm just going to put this right into the dark spots or dark circles of my eyes. This is just strictly, I mean, just to cover my bags, just to cover my dark circles, so there's nothing different that you wouldn't do for um, another face shape. So the next part is where we're gonna get into that. My God, this color keeps changing. I do apologize, you guys. I'm not using my 70D camera, which is what I usually film with every single day. Um, so I'm just warning you, I feel the color is probably gonna be fading in and out. I did wanna make sure that I got this video up for you guys, so I apologize if the camera tends to change a little bit. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be taking the highlight shade that's in this palette with my Beauty Blender and I'm going to start to put that from the inner corner down to the nose and then up to the outer corner of my eye. Since I am a round face shape, um, a lot of times I see girls often bring it all the way up which would make your face a little bit more wide and since we have a rounder face shape, we want to make it look a little bit longer as opposed to wider. So we're going to try to keep the concealer from the inner corner, I'm sorry, from the outer corner of the eye down to the nose, doing a um, almost like an upside down triangle and what I call the triangle of light. So I'm going to take this all the way down and over to the outer corner of my eye, right where my corner of my eye stops. And then bring that down to meet the part at my nose. And then I'm gonna just blend that out. And I know it looks super bright right now because we have no other color to like contrast it, but I promise you once we're done, it'll look all good. We want a color that's a little bit brighter at least, so at least one shade lighter than your original skin tone. So that way it really makes a dramatic change and the contour will really stand out. So real quick, I'm gonna take a pause here. So if you are somebody with a oval face shape, you already have the length. So we really don't need to take your highlight all the way down to the nose. You can actually just keep it from here right underneath the eyes. We want to bring it to about where the orbital bone is, so just about there would be a good point for you to stop. And then you can take it over and actually out um, to create a little bit more width to your face. That's for somebody with an oval face shape. If you are more square, you already have the width here at the temples and the hairline. So we want to make sure that we are elongating the face. So you can actually copy the same way that I did it which is just from the outer corner down to the nose and up. The next place we want to highlight is gonna be the forehead. If, I know it sounds funny, not trying to be mean, but it's the truth, girl. So if you are somebody that has a little bit of a wider forehead already, only like a small little dot in the middle, just to bring balance to the rest of the face is perfect. Now, if you're someone who has a little bit of a smaller forehead, you wanna definitely make it look a little bit longer. So you can go by making a line like that or you can even take your concealer that I used earlier and just make almost like a little tree mark like this. And then all I'm gonna do is just take my damp beauty blender and blend that outwards. Perfect. So another place that we can highlight is on the chin. Now remember, if you are somebody with a heart-shaped face, going along the chin is probably not the smartest idea because you already have a prominent chin and it's a little bit bigger than the rest of the face. So for my face shape, since I'm a little bit more round, I want to make it look longer the same way that I did on my forehead. So I'm going to be bringing this here and just creating a line, taking it from the bottom of my lip all the way down like that to make it look a little bit more elongated. The next thing I wanted to talk about is a highlight on the nose. I know that these days, girl, I can't even leave my house without contouring my nose. So my biggest thing is I already have a wide nose. Um, so what I like to do is I just create a little line down my, the bridge of my nose and as thin as possible. When that highlight line is thinner, the nose will appear thinner. So that is definitely my 
number one trick that I always do, and I get compliments on my nose contour all the time, so this is definitely a step that I feel like you can learn something. So I'm gonna be using my NYX concealer, but all I do is I do one small dot on the bridge of my nose, very small, and I'm gonna take my ring finger, like I said, and I'm just going to take this all the way down and bring it all the way up. So it has a very, very small, thin line of concealer up and down my nose. So I just do that now, and then I go back to it once I um, contour my face. So I'm gonna move on to contouring. So for my face contour, I'm gonna be using my MAC 190 brush. It is a flat brush, and it's perfect for liquids, and it's perfect for creams. So I'm gonna be taking this onto my flat brush. Now what I always do is I use my hand as a palette, and it's almost like my safeguard. You never wanna take product like this and just apply it right away because you don't know how much product you're actually picking up. So what I do is I use the back of my hand just to see how much color I have, if I need to pick up more, if I need to put down less, and then I'll go in to contour. So for a round face shape, this is the places that you're gonna to wanna to contour, and actually pretty much you can contour um, the same way on the cheekbone for any face shape. So anybody can do this. So we wanna start behind the hairline. You never wanna see where your contour starts and where it ends. So that is why we start at behind the hairline. And you wanna feel for your cheekbone because that is the place that you want to apply that contour. If you're ever having a problem finding your contour, you can actually just line up your top of your ear and just angle your brush down towards your cheekbone and it will run right into that cheekbone for you. So I'm gonna go in and lay down this color. And all I'm doing is a small swipe all the way forward. And I'm staying consistent with the way that I'm applying it. So I'm not putting it on, going backwards, putting it on, going backwards. You want to stay in one movement. So you can really place the product down and you're not picking up the product when you go back. So if you are somebody who wants a little bit of a stronger contour, you can go over it again, which I'm going to do. Just to really define, I have a little bit of a bigger cheekbone um, because I gained a little bit of weight and now my cheeks are like really nice and full. So what I do is I take it all the way. I know some people tell you to stop right here at the eyebrow bone, which you definitely can. Cream contours do move when you blend them out. So you want to stop right about there. For my face shape, because I do have these um, cheeks, what I do is I actually go and I kind of swing it around to give an illusion of a lifted cheekbone. To kind of just um, break down that defined jawline right there, if you are someone with a square face shape, you want to contour underneath the jawbone because you already have a prominent jaw. So by going underneath the jawline and onto about the neck, it will give an illusion that the neck is actually a little bit longer and a little bit fuller as opposed to being so sharp. Round face shape. Somebody with a round face shape doesn't really have that really structured jawline like a lot of girls do have and like we want to have. So I'm going to start behind my earlobe. So you see my earlobe here. I'm going to start behind the earlobe again because you never want to see where it ends and where it begins. And I'm just going to push this all the way forward to meet my chin. So you guys see now I have that line right there. And don't worry, we're going to be going in and blending all of these colors out with our beauty blender, so don't be alarmed. Next place that we want to contour is going to be our forehead. So, being that I am somebody who is a little bit more wide, <laughs> wide, wide all over, let me tell you, not just kidding. Um, being somebody that is a little bit more like of a round face shape, I want to create height. I want to create length. So what I'm going to do is actually do a small little line right about there. I don't know if you guys can see that like so and then I'm just going to take it from here and just kind of push it back into my hairline and I'll show you guys once I do the other side you guys will really notice the difference in like my forehead area so so far we have the forehead we have our contoured cheekbones and our contoured jawline the next thing I was going to do is to show you guys my nose contour. So with the nose contour, you definitely want to go in with either a smaller brush or you can use your finger if you want to. I am somebody who is like really good with using my finger when coming to like sculpt my nose. 
So I'm gonna use my finger for this. And all I'm gonna do is just go right along that light part that I created with the concealer. So I'm gonna go right outside of that and start at the middle of my nose and bring it downwards. And then I'm gonna take that up and into my eye socket. So you guys can see now that I've created that really small, thin line on the side of my nose. Now we're gonna go in and blend it all out with a damp beauty blender. And I'm just gonna be pushing lightly. I'm using the one from Real Techniques. This one's really nice because it has a flat side and it also has a pointy side. For contouring, I really, really like this specific um, beauty blender. Just kind of blend this out so you have a really nice, soft contour. Also along the jawline. And then I'm gonna use this to go on the forehead, blend out that contour. And then also on the nose. So that is it for the cream part of the contour. So we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with powder. I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D contour palette. I'm gonna be using my contour brush from Sephora. This is the number 74. It is a little bit fluffier um, and it's a little bit more dense. There's not too much movement, which is really nice because you can really pack on the color. I'm gonna take a little bit of that product and now I'm gonna place it right on top of that contour. And then also, like I said, you guys, I really like to kind of give that illusion. I have like a more lifted cheek. So I'm going to go in and actually bring this all the way in and kind of cup it like this. So this is just the contouring. Now, anytime you use a cream contour, you want to set it with a powder. So doing it with a contour powder is even better because it'll give you a better contour result. So now I'm going to go underneath the jawline where we have contoured with the cream and blend this down because we want to create the illusion that our neck is pushed back. And that's what contouring is. So basically, I mean, contour is all about adding shadows to the face, adding dimension to the face, light and dark. So that way things really stand out that you really like and things that you don't want to stand out, we can push back. And then I'm going to move into the bronzing part. So the bronzing part is completely up to you. I have two bronzers that I really, really love and both of these are from Too Faced. So I have one that is a matte bronzer that's gonna definitely add a lot more warmth to your skin. This is in the color Dark Chocolate, or you can use this color that has a two-tone. This one has a little bit of shimmer to it, and this is the color Sun Bunny. Both of these are awesome. For today's video, I love glowy skin. You already know that. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna be using an angled um, natural hair brush, and I'm gonna be just swirling this into my um, bronzer, tapping off the excess, and the bronzer you want to put above where we did the contour color. So I'm going to be doing small circular motions with very, very light pressure, almost to where like I can't even feel it. I'm just applying the color where I want. All right, so now we have our bronzer there. I did have a cream blush that came in this palette. However, I am not really a big fan of cream blushes, at least not yet. Um, I just got my Jaclyn Hill palette, so I've been obsessing over this. I haven't even taken the plastic off of it because I'm like, oh, it's just so pretty. So I'm going to be using this color here, one of my favorite colors in her palette, Rose Spritz. So it is almost like a really nice rosy color blush, but it has like a little pop of like champagne pop and Prosecco pop in it, I feel like. So it has like a little bit of like that goldish sparkle to it. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to be actually applying this not just to the apples of the cheeks, but I'm going to be bringing it backwards a little bit more to meet my um, temple and to meet my bronzer. Really, really lightly, almost like no pressure at all. Then, of course, once that is done, our favorite part, and I think I can vouch for everyone, highlights. And by highlight, I mean illuminators. Illuminators are everything these days. So. I'm going to take my Dewy Skin Mist, and this is by Tatcha, you guys already know I love Tatcha products, and I'm going to just spritz my face with this. I'm going to take these beautiful two highlighter shades, so one is Champagne Pop, one is Prosecco Pop, and I use this little broke down brush that I have, it's one of my favorites. Um, it's like a wide fluffy brush, but I'm obsessed with this. So I'm going to take a little bit of Champagne Pop, and you want to put the highlighter right in between your eye 
and your bronzer. So this should go right in between and kind of marry the two together. And then just kind of take it up to the temples. I always do like a C around the temple area. Now you can take it from there and stop. Or if you're somebody who likes to have that shininess right here on the cheekbone, which ah, I'm guilty, um, you can bring it further down. So I'm gonna bring mine down and I always go like this. And I just go right on top of my cheek, my apples on my cheek, on top of the forehead. So right here, and a little bit on the chin. And also on the cupid's bow. And last but not least, I'm gonna add a little bit of Prosecco Pop. So this is the other highlight right next to it, right on top of that. And I just kind of like really just dust all over the face with this one because it's so pretty. Now, this is the last thing that I do before I'm done with contouring and highlight. I go back in one more time on my nose so that my nose is like super skinny and really nice and thin. I'm gonna go back in now and do that one little dot in the middle like I did before, just to kind of bring out the intensity and the color of um, that highlight on the nose. So I'm gonna take this all the way up and down, up. So you guys can really see like how skinny my nose looks. <laughs> anyway, so this is basically my contour look and now you guys can see the difference between one side and the other. I really hope you guys enjoyed this more in-depth contouring video for different face shapes. If you guys have any other suggestions or any other tips or tricks you'd like to share with me, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you guys as always. And yeah, I think that's it. So thank you again for watching. Until my next video, I'll see you guys soon.